I want to thank the uh, special forces. We had uh, a tremendous event happen. It really, these are incredible people that do this. Uh, but it was a tremendous event, and we'll be giving you some details in a very short period of time. And it was something that had to get done because they were playing with American citizens. We can't let that happen. So we'll be talking to you about that at the appropriate time. But these are great. These are great people. These are the best in the world. There's nobody like them. And uh, you know a little bit about it. I think people have started to hear, but we'll give you the details in a little while. Okay? Thank you. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Sheepdog Overwatch coming to you live two days before the big election. Don't forget to go out and vote. I can't tell you who to vote for, but we know who to vote for. I myself, I'll be voting for Big Daddy T himself, Trump 2020. As the Hodge twins would say, yeah. So let's get into this. One of the things I love about being an American veteran is this when one of our own when an American citizen is taken by a group of thugs and the president decides that he's going to send out an order to execute a mission to bring that hostage back that just gives me good vibes man it really does and it tells me that Donald Trump really cares about people who are in far off lands who are who are just in a bad situation. US Navy SEAL Team 6 aka Dev Gru conducted a daring hostage rescue operation in northern Nigeria in order to recover an American citizen identified as Philip Walton. Philip Walton is 27 years old. He was living with his wife and his daughter. They were living in a town called Masalata, which is a small town in Niger. It's close to the border of Nigeria. If you look at it on a map, you'll, you'll be able to see where it is. Now, according to U.S. officials, he was abducted on Monday, October 26, 2020. Walton is a farmer. He keeps camels, sheep, poultry, grows mangoes near the borders. He was kidnapped by six men armed with AK-47 rifles who arrived on motorcycles at his home in southern Niger's Masalata village early on Tuesday. News reports are out there that they had asked him for some money and he had 40 bucks in his pocket. So he was like, hey guys, take this. They weren't happy with it. So they snatched him up. Following its trails, U.S. intelligence services located him in northern Nigeria because his wife called in and said, hey, we're an American couple. Somebody snatched up my husband, probably went to the U.S. consulate there and made the report. And in four short days, President Trump was informed. Dev grew forces. They were given the green light. Not just Dev grew, but... When JSOC gets involved with an operation like this, they also work in conjunction with what I call the alphabet branches, basically like the CIA, the DEA, National Intelligence Agency. You know, you know where I'm going with this. President Trump knew that the decision to pull the trigger on the operation was tough, but... That's when he prioritizes the safety of American citizens, and that is what makes him awesome. Is that he said, "You take my people. We're not. We're we're not going to stand for this. We're not going to stand for this one bit." Now, remember, he was captured on the twenty-sixth. This all happened in a matter of hours, folks. Now you think days? No. To us military folks, this happens in hours. Following its trails, U.S. intelligence services located him in northern Nigeria. Shortly after the U.S. president was informed, a.k.a. Donald Trump, special forces units were given the green light. The plan of the abductors 
was either to ask for ransom money or sell Mr. Watson to one of the terrorist groups active in Nigeria, according to the sources. Now, you have Boko Haram, you have ISIS, you have Al-Qaeda, and whatever type of splinter group of these Islamic terrorists out there. And had we not gotten this guy back, he could have ended up on videotape on live leak with his head being taken off his shoulders. President Trump wasn't about that. Now this is how the operation went down. Now I'm going off my notes here. The operation was a result of the cooperation of the U.S. government, the government of Niger, and Nigeria. They worked together so they could rescue Mr. Walton quickly. CIA provided intelligence leading to Walton's whereabouts and Marine Special Forces operations elements in Africa helped locate him. Now I'm pretty sure we're talking about Marine Raiders, Force Recon Marines. SEAL Team 6 was chosen for the operation because they are responsible for West Africa. It is a unit operating under JSOC, well known for Operation Neptune Spear in 2011 and the rescue of Captain Richard Phillips in 2009. Now that was happening during the Obama administration. Now we, we, we were able to nail fucking Bin Laden, man. You know, fucking rah-rah shishkumba, fucking USA, USA, USA. And then these dirty fuckers, man, they decided to say, you know what? We're going to capture an American ship. We're going to take it hostage. We're going to take the captain hostage. Now, they made a movie about this starring Tom Hanks. Probably preaching to the choir here. You saw what happened to these guys. That's how badass SEAL Team 6 is. They're sitting on the back of a boat. Big old fucking Navy boat. Rolling seas. Coordinated headshots and killed the terrorists in a floating rescue craft from that boat that Captain Phillips was on. That just goes to show how badass those guys are. Well, SEAL Team 6, a.k.a. Dev Grew, what do they do? They show how badass they are again. It was an extraordinary team effort with different parts of the joint force making this happen, the source said. The daring raid was carried out in the early hours of October 31st. Covered with darkness, a group of elite operators from DevGru. <laughs> and this is what I fucking love, because this, this gets my airborne blood pumping, man. Because I used to jump out of planes for a living. Uh, that's, that's what I used to do. And, uh... They, they haloed out of a uh, probably a C-17 a few clicks from the target. Now, Philip Walton was guarded by seven captors. In a short firefight, the operators, they fucking dusted all but one with no casualties to themselves. No military personnel were injured and Mr. Phillips was not injured during the operation. <laughs> uh, Counterterrorism expert, man. I, I love what he says here. They were all dead before they knew what happened. <laughs> yeah! That, uh, that fucking makes me uh, extremely happy as an American. Not just because it happened two days prior to the election, but if you really give a shit about your fellow Americans... And you see something like this happening, you got to keep that family in your prayers. Because nobody wants to see their, their family member sold out to some terrorist group and ending up live on Live leak being beheaded. It's just, that's not, that's not how we do business. It doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on. It doesn't matter. What matters is the life of that person that is in distress and the brave men that we send to bring them back. From what I know, Mr. Phillips uh, is currently at the U.S. Ambassador's residence in Naomi. I believe that's in Niger. So 
that's basically what went down. Now, I'm I'm not an operator. I uh, never was. I was just a paratrooper. Uh, I was just a ground pounder, and uh, you know that was that was my primary job, and I had a secondary job. Um, but uh, you know when when I hear about my 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 brothers going out there and putting putting themselves on the line for another American. One thing that everyone has to look at right now is even though COVID is going on, miscreants like this are going to act out like that. Crime doesn't care about you. Hate doesn't care about you. It, it just doesn't. War, famine, pestilence, taxes, <laughs> bills... But just think about being abducted by some dudes that are looking at you with dollar signs in their eyes. And then you're sitting there as a prisoner, scared for your life. It's day four. You're thinking, oh my god, man, is somebody going to come and save me? Because you have to remember, Mr. Phillips it's not military he 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 doesn't know if or when help is going to come and help did come and it came in the form of navy seal team six those guys are incredible i've had the privilege to meet two seals i don't know if they were in six they just told me they were seals at the vfw that's all I had to know. But these guys, even though they had been out for a very, very long time, these dudes were still fucking yoked, stacked, racked, trained up, ready to go. I know that if I was in that situation, I would want some badass in a uniform to waste every motherfucker in the place come to me, ask me the questions that I need to answer to verify that I am that person and take me home. This is what's happening in the world today, folks. And I just I hate to say this to us as Americans. We really can't go anywhere right now. But remember, when this is all over and we can start flying and going where we want as a tourist and whatnot please keep your head on a swivel when I was in the military we were trained on ways to evade capture if they tried to capture us and when I I'm not talking about in a wartime situation because during the Cold War and times during when I was stationed in Germany, many attempts on Americans were made to abduct us. Service members. Didn't matter what your rank was. And I know that if I was in uniform at that time and I had been captured, I would want a team like SEAL Team 6 to come and bail me out. Or I would want a team like the Delta Boys to bail me the fuck out. Or I would want a team of U.S. Army Rangers, Marine Force Recon, Marine Raiders to bail me out. These guys are great. And I cannot thank them enough for what they've done and the sacrifice that they put themselves in front of. And I cannot thank them enough for bringing Mr. Walton back from captivity. These are men of honor. And they carry that honor proud. Thank you, gentlemen. And folks, make sure on Tuesday that you make the right vote. Don't make the wrong vote. We know what the wrong vote is. The wrong vote is going to put us in a world of hurt. I, 
I don't want to see that happen. I really don't. So let's keep America great. And I thank you for coming by. And if you get a chance, go on to the U.S. Navy SEAL page on Facebook or the U.S. Navy SEAL uh, Twitter, their social media, whatnot. And send those guys some love because they are more than deserving of it. So thank you once again, guys, for bringing Mr. Walton home. You guys kick ass. So, let everything I've said sink in for a minute. And on that note, folks, my helo's here. I've got to hit the skids. Sheepdog Overwatch is RTB. Out. Well, I used to walk among shadows.